Good evening. Today is September twenty eight two zero two three. The title of my two minutes encouraging sermon is "Our Sacrifices." Our sacrifices. Mark twelve forty one to forty two, and Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury, and many that were rich cast in much, and there came a certain poor widow, and she threw into two midst. And which makes a farthing. So, everyone knows about this widow, giving only two coins. That's the story I have chosen about our sacrifices. It's only two coins. That's all she has. That's all she gave to God. But here is a point. The treasury that is spoken of here is a place located in the women's court that was in the temple complex, but was not part of the temple itself. Women were not allowed in the temple, so the fact that the widow was casting her offering into the treasury verifies the location of the treasuries. Jesus used Jesus used this instance to teach his disciples a very important lesson. He did not say these things to this widow personally. God's promises concerning giving、um, give us an assurance that this offering was blessed back to this woman in his life. But the widow did not hear his commendation. There is no indication that this poor widow ever knew that anyone recognizes the extent of her sacrifice. No one knew. No one knew. The widow did not knew that she was being recorded in the Bible. That's the point. Likewise, there are times we may feel that no one knows or appreciate our sacrifices. However. Just as surely as Jesus saw this woman's giving and knew of the sacrifice involved, God takes note of our smallest deeds and one day will reward us openly. One day, He will reward us openly for all these sacrifices you have paid for the Son, for the glory of Christ our Lord Jesus, and for the glory of God the Father. The Lord does not judge the size of our gifts by how much we give. This is very important. The Lord does not judge the size of our gifts by how much we give. Are we giving one thousand or ten thousand or thirty thousand? God is not looking that, but rather by how much we have left over after we give. That's extremely important. I'm going to repeat that sentence again. The Lord does not judge the size of our gifts by how much we give, but rather by how much we have left over after we give. After we have given, how much we have left? That's extremely important. That's what God is interested. Men tend to compare themselves with each each other, but the Lord doesn't judge our giving by what others give. Men compare each other, compete each other. By being famous, by being well known, by being accepted, well accepted in the church, all these drama. But God doesn't look at that. What God is looking is the motive behind giving, your heart, your attitude. With what attitude are you giving? With what attitude are you giving that to the poor, the needy, to the Lord? The attitude, the attitude is extremely important. It's not the amount he is interested; it's the attitude he is interested. The Lord looks at the heart of the giver more than the gift. The Lord looks at the heart of the giver more than the gift. The Lord weights the giver more than the gift. The heart. When we stand before the Lord, all of our works, not only our giving, will be tried to determine what sort, what kind. Not what size they are. One day we're going to stand. All of us are going to stand in front of Christ, our Lord Jesus. And at that time, it's not the amount of money you you have given. It's not the amount of time. It's not amount of how famous I you, you have done on the earth. It's the attitude behind doing all this ministry work. Just remember, God looks at the heart of the giver. More than the gift, and the Lord waits the giver more than the gift. Thank you.